Oh, we have action, we have action. Let's have a look around. Come on, he's being brave. Come on. Having a bit of a clean. That these ants, they're just they're just awesome. They're just so much bigger than anything else I've had. I know I've not. This doesn't really represent Singularis that well. How big is he? How big is he? Mm. Hard to tell. There could be like fifteen, maybe. She, I should say. She, she, she. Here we go. This is first steps. First steps outside. Nice right, testing the air. She, she's testing the air. You're gonna like antimatter special juice over there. Don't know. Don't know. God, I think I need to come back. It's, it's looking around the 16 millimetres mark actually I think. Oh, I can tell. Let's come back a bit. Come on, you're gonna come out. It's nice out there. Nice fresh new world. Go back to see the Queen. The Queen has got a bigger head. Definitely. I just thought I was able to look down the tube. I can't get the camera to move around that way. I was able to look down the tube at both the heads next to each other. She's got a bigger head than this one. And this one's what, four and a half millimetres head. Singularis Major, this is. It looks like it's between 16 and 18 mil, I reckon. There we are. Yes. Being brave, being very brave now. Come on. You can do it, come on. Come on. Come on. Definitely not a confident species so far anyway, or maybe not confident when there's only two of them. Apparently this was a big colony and uh, this is all that's left of the big colony. It just looked like the queen was trying to egg her out. Yeah, you can see this little yellow is it's almost, oh it's really pretty actually. Loving these ants. It's, oh, the size of the head. Oh, so cool. Sniffing the air again. The queen is actually a lot bigger than that one. I'm sort of being spoilt because I'm assuming they actually survive. <laughs> I've got a major and a queen, and most people would be wait, wait, waiting for a major. I don't know how long, I, don't know how many, I think it's like 20 workers per major or 25 workers per major on these. So that could still represent quite a bit of time, really. I've learnt patience in ant keeping. Um, well, you've got no choice most of the time, but yeah. I just want this ant to uh, actually step out the tube, would be nice. Look at the colours on that. Oh. Gorgeous. Yeah, going back to the queen. Sniff me. Look at me. Sniff me. I've just been really brave. <laughs> it's going to be an all night job, this is, before they actually leave the test tube. I don't mind if they want to live in that test tube, like that unblocked. Um, I've uncovered it just to sort of try and acclimatise them, because I'd like to see them come out and wander around. But if they don't, then I can always cover that over a bit more and let them just. Uh, you know, live in that. I don't want to stress them out. They've been really stressed out, these. That's how I've ended up with them so cheap. They had a big colony that got flooded in transport. And obviously the Queen and the Major, the two biggest ants, are the only ones that survived. All the brood gone, everything. So, uh, they've had a stressful life up to now. And the idea is to give them this, hopefully, perfect environment to found and Sort me out with a whole new ant empire would be nice. We'll see. Can be brave again or not? Ah, stop it. Here she goes. Here she goes. Come on, come on. Can you do it? You're going to be big and brave. You're going to be big and brave. You're going to actually step out this time. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yes, she's out. She's out. First time she's come out. In the first time. Go 
it back in to uh, describe her outdoor surroundings. Have a good sniff of each other. <laughs> This really is it. This is the actual queen now. Now can you see? Look. Head out there. Oh, I don't know. I think she's touching 20. I think she's touching 20 mil. Here she goes. Right. Come on. She's, she's not sure. Is she going to go for that blue juice or not? Please. This is the Queen. This is the first time the Queen has come out of the tube. The work has been out three times now. That's her being extremely brave. That's the first time we've got a proper measurement on her. She was easily 20 mil there. I mean, I suppose she'd lay down flat and maybe more, but 20 mil, I'd guess, there. Here she comes. At least, I'd say 16 on the uh, major. It's hard to tell there. I should say this, they're a good... Well, the Queen's about 10 mil away from this ruler, so she'd be bigger than she looks. And the major is at least 5 mil away from this ruler. So they would actually be bigger than they look next to this ruler, if the ruler was right next to them anyway. Don't know by how much exactly, I'm not an expert. It would look bigger. She's out. I don't like that bit of cotton. She's actually going to walk on the ruler, so you'll see the proper size of her before she wasn't actually touching the ruler. She was a good 10 mil away from it before. I think she's going to prove to be... Well, she, I know she's at least 20, even when she was 10 mil away from it, actually. Yeah. Good off. That's what we've been waiting for. Finally. She was off exploring. Taken two and a half hours to get to this point, but yeah, this is exactly what we need to see. She's uh, having a good wander around now. Well, wandering around the dark bit that's under the shelter. What's the start? One Queen Godzilla. Are you going to show us what we're made of? I thought I was going to miss this completely. We we're actually coming out of the tube. Probably do it when the lights go out in the dark. But she's actually come out. I'm going to get much more than this, but well, she's being adventurous. Oh no, we've got the battery power's going now. <laughs> 